Hey guys, what's up? It's Retro Mikey 78 here, and today we have a Poppin' Beats mystery box that is guaranteed over value. So, um, I think they had 20 of these boxes. Um, what is it? I'll put the picture up here of the, the hits and everything. They said that most boxes would be between 105 to 150. Five boxes would be valued from 150 to 250. So I have no clue what I got. It is cut open, but there, you know, I'm going to tell you guys there's a reason for that. I ordered two from this company at the same time, and I wasn't sure. My alarm to wake up since I got up early. Wasn't sure which one opened first. Now, I did look in. This is Pops. So I know I have Pops. There's four Pops. I did not see what they are. This is the three-pack sodas that we ordered. And me and April are going to do a soda battle later with this. So that video will be up and coming. So this is up and coming, and this one we're gonna do now. But I wasn't sure which one was which, because I've never got from Poppin' Beats. So those are three boxes in there. These are four pops inside here. So, like I said, I just looked in and saw that it was pops. So I don't know what's there. Oh. <clears throat> Got some stickers, a pop and beat sticker. Uh, looks like a Star Wars or Rebel Legion. Uh, yeah, Star Wars. Wasn't sure. And an Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh, and one other one, a Ren and Stimpy sticker. All right. Yeah, I came across pop and beats and they were offering this and one of the grails on there really caught my eye. So they're all foreign pop protectors. That's a good sign. So I'm going to pull them out and see what I got. This is my actually my first mini mystery box. All right, so first, I didn't mean to look at it. Kind of, I guess I could have should have shut my eye. This is Jim off of the office and it is the chase version. Now, I'm actually not a big fan of The Office, so I will probably be getting rid of this eventually soon. Um, $25 what they got on it, so um, we're going to go with theirs right now. And at the end of the video, I will um, bring my tablet in here and search up what we got. Okay, now I'm going to close my eyes now that I know. Let you guys see it. Or let... Yeah, I didn't mean to see it last time. My eyes are closed, so I don't know which side you guys are seeing. So we have Tony Hawk from the Birdhouse. And it says this is a $31 pop. Now I am a I used to do lots of BMX and skateboarding and stuff when I was a kid. So I am a fan of Tony Hawk. So this is kind of cool. So right there we are at um, 25 and 31. They're saying we're at Fifty-six dollars. So I know I didn't hit a grill. That's fine. It says it's over value. I got my eyes closed. I have no idea. So it's probably that way since it looks like they put all the stickers on this. So I'm hoping you guys can see it. It's a Simpsons Hot Topic Homer Mr. Plow. Twenty dollars what they're saying, Mr. Plow. I actually like that episode. And the last one, all right. So the stick things are posted, post notes over here. So, again, I hope you guys are seeing it. My eyes are still closed. And it is a Spider Man No Way Home, the Statue of Liberty Gold from 2002 Fall Convention, $32. Alright, now I forgot to bring the tablet in here, so I'm going to grab the tablet so we can double check the prices. Alright guys, so, I've got my tablet. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to use H, uh, HobbyDB. Um, seems to be more accurate to the prices. So, we will scan them. All right, two sub variants. So that's the reason I'm using Hobby DV, and it says thirty-two dollars. So we are going to keep a running tab. And I use my tablet because actually my phone is what I record all my videos off of. 
All right, so that is right at $32. Uh, back out. Back out. Okay, scan the next one. Live scanning. Sorry, it looks like this item is not in the database. So let's try it one more time. It happens every once in a while on this. Mr. Plow, $20 right on the knob. Okay, so we are at $20. I'm just double checking their prices. But like I said, I paid $100. I think it was $10 to ship. But I mean... I know a lot of people, I don't count, I count shipping. Some people do, some people don't. I'm actually one of those that say no, I do not count shipping. So Tony Hawk comes in at $31. So put that on the running tally. That puts us at 83. This should put us over 100. And actually, like I told you, this is not one that I'm probably going to keep. I'm probably going to be selling down the road. Uh, book face 25 bucks yep so they were right on like I said they were right on I got $108 in value so I got my money I don't count shipping because either way they've got to ship them to me so everybody that's oh I count shipping I count shipping hey don't count shipping whoever it is you got to pay to ship it to you one if you don't and you're going out to get it you're going to be paying for gas and other things to go out and get the things it's just part of traveling to get it that's why i don't count shipping and i only count just the product so all in all we get 108 dollars out of these pops i'm ecstatic with this i will probably do more pop and beats mystery boxes they've got one up right now as i'm speaking for anime but i'm not big on anime so that would be maybe me just getting things and getting rid of them um i thought about that but like no i'm not gonna do that right now um maybe later i might do one an anime one but right now no i'm gonna wait for more pulp culture like this so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and um lots more to come